Well, hello friends, it's Amy for Lychee with the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. And today I have a most gorgeous card to show you. This card uses so many beautiful embellishments. I am just in love with this entire suite of products and I cannot wait to show you all of them on the card today. So I want to start, I like I usually do, by showing you the products that we're gonna be using on the card from our Stampin' Up! 2017 holiday catalog. We are on pages 36 and 37 and this is the Year of Cheer suite of products. And I don't know if you can see it so well in the video, but it's just all this like kind of glitzy, glamorous, like the beautiful gold and silver and champagne tones. I am totally in love with this whole suite. And kind of the big thing is I haven't really played with it too much yet. So this was kind of one of the first cards. We actually just made this card today at my Simple Beautiful card class. And I had a little extra time um, after the class was done and I thought, you know what, I'm going to run right home and make a video on this card because I am so in love with it. So let's get started by showing you. Can you guys see? So on page 37 is the Cheers to the Year stamp set. Can you see that I'm trying to get zoomed right in there? So I love the kind of really... Um, Oh, it's like whimsical, I guess I would say, the font on the Seasons Greetings stamp. And then this one says, and so your story begins. So the thing is that this stamp set, it's not just like holiday. Can you see that? They've got the Mr. and Mrs. and the Cheers to a New Year. And then these really pretty snowflakes and little baby hearts and stars. And then these circles here, again, that kind of whimsical look to both of those and it says that they coordinate with the layering circle framelits that can be found in the annual catalog on page 214. Um, but like I said, just to really um, love the font, love that this is versatile. It's not just for the holidays. You could make some beautiful wedding cards with this entire suite of products as well. Also, we are not using all these things, but I love this Winter Wonder um, textured impression embossing folder. It's like a huge snowflake that you can emboss on your card. We are using the Year of Cheer embellishments. I'll show you those. Can you kind of see like up close? They come in silver and in gold and in kind of, well, one to me looks like a star and then the other maybe like a little pine bow. I don't know exactly what to call that, but anyway, just really beautiful. Um, the Year of Cheer Specialty Designer Series paper. So this paper, if you can see, you get four different patterns and then three of each of them. Now it's a little bit thicker cardstock or designer series paper, I should say. It's probably thicker than our cardstock really, um, but it's only printed on one side because it's kind of a foil look to the paper as well, but it's beautiful. Um, and then the foil snowflakes too in silver and in gold, and we're using those on the card. Um, the champagne foil sheets, um, I did not use those. You certainly could on this card because they've got the gold and silver and champagne color in that designer series paper that we are using. And then last but not least is that Year of Cheer specialty washi tape, again, in some really pretty gold, silver, and champagne tones. Um, we're not using that either, but I just, oh my gosh, it's just beautiful. I love, like I said, this is just a gorgeous suite of products, and I think you're going to have so much fun playing with this. So I'm going to scoot that out of the way. And let's go ahead and get started. Let's see. So, and actually this is really cool because this card doesn't have any big shot work on it. So we are just gonna pull our things out of their packages and we're gonna do our stamping and we are gonna have some fun. Okay, so I'm gonna move my card kind of over there in the corner so I can see what I'm doing. I am using, let's see, back up with the measurements. You know, I always like to show you guys this. So this is our thick Whisper White cardstock, so it's a lot thicker than our um, regular Whisper White cardstock, okay? So I like to use that as a card base rather than the Whisper White because that Whisper White's a little bit flimsy. So we start with our piece of cardstock that measures eight and a half by 11. I cut it in half at five and a half, right along there, and then I scored it at four and a quarter, right along there to make our card base, okay? 
I'm actually gonna scoop my card base out of the way because I don't need that right now. We are going to kind of build everything. Actually, the one thing I always tell people is to do your stamping first. So we're gonna stamp our season's greeting stamp um, down in that corner because if I don't like it or if I get kind of a ring around something, I can always turn the um, cardstock over and try it again on the other side. So this is Smoky Slate ink. Nice, easy tap, 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 and press straight down and straight up. And I think that was pretty simple, right? So that, you know, we're good with that. Scoot that guy out of the way. I forgot to tell you the measurements though for this kind of layering piece. Can you see right along here? We've got Whisper White thick cardstock base and then another layer of Whisper White regular cardstock. That measures five and a quarter by four inches. So we're gonna build everything on top of this piece of cardstock. Um, this is that beautiful designer series paper, that um, specialty paper. The year, now I'm already like forgetting, what's the name of that paper? Yeah, the Year of Cheer Specialty Designer Series paper that has the silver and gold. Maybe it doesn't have champagne, but I think you could certainly use those champagne foil sheets on here also. All those kind of um, metallic tones work really well together. So I'm using my Fast Fuse because this is so thick and you can see it doesn't have any um, pattern on the back of the paper. So just one side, but it's gorgeous. That way you don't have to pick between the two, right? So I'm gonna add that to the side of the card. And then I'm gonna grab one of my foil snowflakes and they, like I said, they come in gold and in silver and I kinda like mixing the gold and silver tones on this card. So I'm gonna grab one of my gold foil snowflakes and then I've got my silver foil paper with my one and three quarter inch circle punch and I'm just gonna punch a circle out of there, okay? Scoot that guy out of the way. And then I'm gonna, this is just kind of a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock. I'm gonna stamp my really pretty snowflake again in the Smoky Slate cardstock. So nice, easy tap, tap, tap. Press straight down and straight up, okay? And then I'm gonna grab my one and a half inch circle punch. Um, and I apologize, <laughs> I realize my fingernails are so dirty and they're not really, like it's not dirt, it's ink because we've been um, <laughs> making cards down at the stamp studio all day, so I apologize. I really don't like to have icky fingers in my videos, but um, today it's one of those not to be avoided because I've been having fun, I've been playing today. Um, okay, so now we are going to grab our snail and we're gonna just put a little bit of adhesive on the back of our circle. You see how we stamped that in Smoky Slate ink and then punched that with our one and a half inch circle punch. Oh, all right, I always, I get a little futzy. Gotta make sure it looks even around there. Right, and if you don't press too hard, that's the one good thing about our snail adhesive, right, is you can lift it up and move it. Now I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of that guy. I'm actually going to add him on, I'm going to use my Fast Fuse and I'm going to just put some where kind of the center of that snowflake is going to go. What do I like? Maybe about like that. Kind of like it a little off kilter, I guess I would say. I'm going to peel off the back of my dimensionals and pop that snowflake with the silver foil behind it right on there. Okay, now for another really fun part of this card. These are those Year of Cheer embellishments. I showed them to you in the catalog, but can you kind of see them? Oops, I flipped them all over. Oh, and you know what? So this is what's left from class. Everybody used, that's good. They all had fun. They all used, I don't know, I like I said, maybe a pine sprig, but everybody used the gold and silver um, in that shape, so now I have left um, just the stars, I would say, in the gold and the silver. So I liked that gold on there, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick those. So sorry, I don't have any more live, I guess, other than the one that's on the card, but you get the idea, right? Uh, okay, now what do I have? My Whisper White Baker's Twine, and I always keep this on the bolt so that I can, um, you know, not work with a teeny tiny little piece of um, linen, or I'm not linen thread, but um, baker's twine. I'm just gonna pop that through. See that has that little hole there. You could like, this would be like really pretty on a necklace or something too, right? Okay, so I just looped that through there. Now I'm gonna tie a knot to kind of hold it in place, right? And then I am going to make 
my bow. Oops, scoot him out of the way a little bit, right? <laughs> my fingers are not working very well. I'm trying to get that little loop through there. I'm making this look way more complicated than it really is. Although not everybody loves making bows. I'm a huge, like, I love all of our ribbon, all of our baker's twine, so I'm making bows like crazy, and people at my classes are like, oh, Amy, seriously, another bow? So they don't always love them quite as much as I do, but I'm always there to help them. I can always make bows for people if they don't like to do that. Okay, so I think we've played with that enough. Grab my snips and pop that off and move our baker's twine out of the way. I think these um, work best if you use a glue dot. So I'm going to kind of on the back here, I'm just gonna stick this. This is the easiest way to work with our glue dots. Just stick it right on there. Now it's on the back of where I want it and I can kind of maneuver it into position. And I kind of had it tucked a little bit up underneath that silver foil, right? And I'm going to trim this. I knew that was a little long. I'm going to trim him down a little bit. Actually, he still looks a little too short, doesn't he? I trimmed the other one pretty short, so or too long. need to trim him a little bit. There we go. Okay. So, oh my gosh, look at how beautiful that card is, right? So now let's actually put it, that whole front, let's put it on our card. I'm using my Fast Fuse here because this is pretty hefty with all these little embellishments and things on the front the card front so I want to make sure it stays but again this is one where you don't have the kind of forgiveness that you do with the snail right so you got one chance to put it down especially once I smooth it like this it's not coming up so look at that super simple super cute it's all about the paper the foil snowflakes the silver foil paper and then isn't that so pretty how that um, really mirrors it's a little bit bigger bigger smaller um, but it very similar to the snowflakes that are on that designer series paper the other thing that I like to mention is I'm one of those no um, blank no naked envelopes so I've got a whisper white envelope here and I am gonna use my smoky slate ink again and I'm just gonna ink up my snowflake and I like to just kind of I call it like a preview a preview of what's inside so when you send this card to someone Obviously, the card's going to be inside there, and they get a little sneak peek at what is inside the envelope. So how about that? Oh, my gosh. So, and the really kind of nice thing about this card is there was no Big Shot work. So if you don't have a Big Shot, as long as you have the other products, you are going to be all set to make this card. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this card today. Uh, make sure you check out my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, inspiration.com for lots of other projects and tips and tutorials and ideas on things. Um, this is just such a fabul fabulous time of year with the holiday catalog out now. So when you're ready to buy any of the products that we used on this beautiful card, make sure you go to my website at Amy Suzanne with the Z, amysuzanne.stampinup.net. Put your order in. Oh, actually, let me back up. Go to my blog first. Grab the host code on the right-hand side toolbar, right? Then go shop. When you put a $50 order in in October, well, always, if you put at least a $50 order in, I send a cute um, treat, or a, not a treat, but an embellishment usually, like ribbon um, or other jewels or, you know, lots of whatever we have that's fun and exciting and new in either the annual catalog or the holiday catalog. I always put some kind of a goodie in your thank you when you spend at least $50. And then actually this month during October, your name is also entered into a drawing to win the Mary Patterns host stamp set. And I have a couple of those to give away um, for any online orders this month. So do that. Make sure you put your order in before October 31st. When you use that host code, you get lots of goodies from me. So thanks so much for listening. I hope you have a great day and I hope you were inspired today. Bye-bye.